Hello, my name's David Davis, and I'm going to talk to you about Helios Ecolab here in Greece. We've been here 10 years, and we develop and experiment with sustainable ways of living. So that's everything from powering the house, charging our electric cars, heating the house, providing our hot water. But the biggest challenge for sustainable living is growing your own food. And we've made good progress. The soil here was pretty poor, so we had to build it up over the years with, with compost. And we have drought resistant varieties of figs, pomegranates, but for the veggies, ultimately, they do need extra water. So for that purpose, we harvest our own rainwater. And the system that everyone knows is the 100 litre barrel by a downpipe. And that works pretty well. But we've done more than that. I want to show you how we do that. This is what Elios looks like normally. And here's what Elios looks like cut in half. So you can see the big south-facing roof which is great for picking up the solar rays and it's also good for picking up the rainwater so it comes down this pipe here and this pipe here at the back and it feeds into these two cisterns here we have a submersible turbine pump in the tank and it gets pumped to the top two tanks here which then feeds the garden through gravity so this way, we didn't have to waste any extra land by having to dig another hole and put a tank there or buy a big plastic tank, which would be ugly and, and use up lots of resources. So we just got the builder to dig an extra 1.4 metres down and build it into the house. And people say you shouldn't really put water in a house, but it's OK, it is possible, it's at the bottom, and if it were to leak, well, we could just pump it out. So it's fine, it's been working a number of years now, and, and it's consistent with what our philosophy is, is to always ask, is there a better way of doing something? And there is, because it's, you know, it's better for your pocket, it's better for the planet. Water is not infinite, it doesn't, you know, it comes from the local community, there's a, there's a water table, that's being depleted as people use it for agriculture in their homes and therefore we're, we're reducing the load on the local community. It has to, be, has to be pumped and filtered and chlorinated and that takes energy and resources. So we're, we're, we're reducing that load. So now I'm going to show you how it works in reality. Rainwater comes down from this pipe here from the roof and it goes down to the basement where we have two 10,000 litre storage tanks. So here's one of them. And currently it's really quite full because we had rain last night. And we're gonna pump this up to the top where we have two more 5,000 litre tanks that will gravity feed to the garden. We pump the water from the basement in the house using solar energy and we deposit it here so it's at the highest point of the land so we can irrigate the gardens using gravity.